Once somebody becomes symptomatic from femoral acetabular impingement or FAI, it's unlikely that the problem is just going to get better and go away. Now that doesn't mean that your only choice is to suck it up or recommend surgery. There's a lot you can do from a conservative standpoint to help modulate the symptoms. That starts with activity modification. If you can identify things that may have precipitated the symptoms and avoid those, oral anti-inflammatory medications can be helpful to quieten down some of the symptoms. Supervised physical therapy has an important role because there is a lot you can do with strengthening, stabilization, and range of motion to reduce the forces across the joint associated with this FAI. We do consider the role of judicious use of injections inside the hip joint. Now, if you get relief with an injection and you just keep putting shots in there, then you're just treating the symptoms and not addressing the problem, and that can start to be harmful. But compared to surgery, sometimes trying a shot one time doesn't sound like such a bad idea. Often we'll employ what we call a two-pronged attack. As someone's been favoring the hip, they can develop a lot of compensatory problems in the soft tissues around the joint. And if you can put some medicine in the joint and get the joint quieted down, there may be a lot that physical therapy can accomplish to correct some of the compensatory issues that may be going on. Now this strategy is strictly a win-win proposition because if you can get the joint quieted down and avoid surgery, that's a big plus. But also if it comes to arthroscopic surgery on the hip, we know the success of the procedure is very much dependent on the rehab process afterwards. So anything you can do on the front end to get the hip in better shape makes the outcome of the surgery more favorable. So it's not like you're going to try this strategy and it was a waste of time and you ended up needing surgery anyway because everything you're doing beforehand puts you in a much better position for the surgery to be successful. There's a growing amount of scientific literature that states that the longer the duration of symptoms prior to surgery, the poorer the outcomes from surgical intervention for FAI. Now that doesn't mean you need to rush in and do surgery right away. The best I can tell someone is it's unlikely that the problem is going to get worse and them not know it. If the symptoms are stable, I think there's a role for a conservative strategy. If things are getting worse, then I think it's probably better to be proactive and address the problem with arthroscopic intervention rather than simply wait and see how much worse the problem gets.